What is up people this is your boy Mandrax welcome back to another new video of Call of Duty news and updates if you find this video informative don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on latest Call of Duty news before we get into today's main topic I just want to inform you guys that the Cronin Squall is still the meta weapon even after its recent nerf the TTK damage range and recoil control is so minute that it's almost unnoticeable Getting into the main topic of today, we have more information on the new Wandle Resurgence map coming to Warzone 2 at the launch of Season 4 starting June 14th. We do have leaks that Wandle is going to be a medium sized map being smaller than Al Mazra but bigger than the existing Ashika Island Resurgence map. Developed by Binox, Wandle should have Battle Royale and DMZ support later at some point after its launch and this will be the first time two BR maps will be playable at the same time in the Warzone 2 playlist. Leaks suggest that Wandle will have 12 points of interest in total and since Activision mostly take inspiration from real life locations, they will look almost similar to the pictures I'm about to show you in the video. Just hope Activision don't get into any licensing or copyright issue Again, just like what happened during the launch of Modern Warfare 2, where two multiplayer maps were not added to the game due to being hyper-realistic compared to real-life locations, hence falling under licensing or copyright issues. The first POI we have here is the aquarium. It looks like half a sunken ship and it's set in the middle of a wide waterway connected by a long bridge and has a dock also. The next POI is the city hall, which is a massive hotel-looking building Looking at some Google images of the interiors, I'm guessing there's just going to be one floor at ground level even though multiple windows make it look like it will consist of multiple floors. Third one would be the fire station. There are other fire station buildings but leakers suggest that this is how it's going to look so let's just stick with this for now. New stats port will be the next one. I apologize if my pronunciation is incorrect but this is how I'm going to call it for now. The structure looks like somewhat of a city gate. The fifth one would be the old museum. I think this POI will have multiple floors to climb. Number six is the floating house or houses. I think this would be my favorite POI thinking about different play styles you can apply at this location. Amsterdam University at number seven. This POI should have multiple levels and a lot of close quarter fights. New museum with its very modern architecture should be the most unique POI in Wandel. Next one would be the police station with a very simple office building should house a lot of desks and cells in the interior. Number 10 would be the stadium Ajax named after the city's world famous football club Ajax. Although at first I thought it looked like an indoor stadium with a full covered roof, it is not. Cruise terminal with its full visibility glass structure will leave no room for campers but it should definitely have a big cruise ship as the name suggests. The last POI would be the train station which leads me to believe traveling stealthily around the medium sized map will be a thing. As I said earlier, these are just references Activision will take most inspirations from Hopefully there will be more leaks about how exactly the POIs will look and their locations or maybe some sort of a map leak. But anyways, we just have around 10 more days for Wandle to release in the Season 4 update so we will find out soon. This is all I have for you guys in this video. Again, I hope you all found this video informative. If you all did, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe so you stay up to date on latest Call of Duty news, updates and leaks. Let me know in the comment section what other topics you want me to cover so I can try to bring it out for y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Till then, peace. GG's.